Post. P-O-S-T. P-O-S-T. The cereals you like the most. The cereals made by Post. Take you to the secret mountain retreat of... Captain Video! Master of Space! Hero of Science! Captain of the Video Rangers! Operating from his secret mountain headquarters on the planet Earth, Captain Video rallies men of goodwill and leads them against the forces of evil everywhere. As he rockets from planet to planet, let us follow the champion of justice, truth, and freedom throughout the universe. Stand by for Captain Video and his Video Rangers. Captain Video and the Ranger have battled the forces of space and the evil schemes of a certain Chauncey Everett. But now on the verge of success, it seems that fate has again struck Captain Video a staggering blow. For on board the Polar Star, Chauncey Everett and his companion in crime, the man called Horace, have escaped. How in blazes did you escape from the electronic manacles? I don't know exactly. I have an idea that in our battle with the galaxy, one of your shots probably damaged our electronic manacles. I certainly know that it isn't working at 100% efficiency now, which fact I am happy, most happy to inform. Ranger, we're cooked. Yeah, it looks that way, Storm. We're cooked. But thank heaven the mail isn't. Ah, we're wasting time with all this space, space chatter. What are you going to do, Everett? I'm going to show the Ranger how wrong he is about the micromail. The Ranger, would you be good enough to get away from the control panel, please? And what if I won't? Don't ask silly questions. You won't do it of your own free will. I think possibly we can persuade you. Now, I assume that the longer I delay using this, the happier you will be. Am I wrong? Are you ever wrong, ever? Don't get sarcastic with me. I don't have to take that from you, Horace. Would you be good enough to remove the ranger from the control panel? Yeah, sure. Will you go quiet, buddy? All right. Now tie him up. The electronic manacle is useless, so find something else to tie him up. Yeah, there's some rope in the storage chamber. Won't be all right? Now, I have heard of it being used for that purpose. Yes, I will get there. Let me see. The Orion's microwave channel. Let me think. Yes. John C. Everett here aboard the Polar Star calling Sam Creed aboard the Orion. The microwave channel Delta 123 Gamma 369. Chauncey Everett here aboard the Polar Star, calling Sam Street aboard the Orion. Microwave channel Delta 123 Gamma 369. Do you read me, Street? Do you read me, Street? Street? What is Chauncey Everett doing contacting you? I don't know, but we'll soon find out. This is Sam Street aboard the Orion, replying to Chauncey Everett aboard the Polar Star. Everett. What has happened to the Ranger? I'll be very happy to explain in detail, Street, when I have the time. All that is necessary for you to know at the moment is this. One, I have escaped, in fact, and I am in command aboard the Polar Star. And two, I am ordering you to heave to right where you are and wait for the Polar Star to catch up with you. You must be lunar nutty if you think we're going to wait for you. I am not thinking, Street. I am acting. Now, if you value his life... Whose life? Who do you mean, Everett? By the Ranger, of course. Street. He wouldn't. You forget. You're talking about Chauncey Everett. In other words, we'll we'll have to do as he says. We can't stand off. You know that. I heard that remark, Street. Perhaps if you don't, you'll save your own skin. What do you hope I gain by hurting the Ranger? You know, if we hold up the Orion for one minute, just one minute, we won't get the mail to planet Earth on schedule. So what do you hope to gain by this? I will be the judge of that. Now, what is your answer? We'd, uh, we'd better ask Captain Video's advice. Yes, certainly. Go right ahead. Contact Captain Video and ask his advice. Go ahead, Street. This is Sam Street aboard the Orion, 
Calling Captain Video aboard the Galaxy. Come in, please. Condition red. Condition red. This is Sam Sufferings of Journey and Salamanders. Now what? It appears that a difficulty has arisen. I guess I better find out what it is. Captain Video to Sam Street. Captain Video to Sam Street. I read you. I read you. Over. Captain Video, this is Sam Street. I've just been in contact with Chauncey Everett aboard the Polar Star. Everett? Yes, he's escaped. Don't ask me how, but he's escaped. And what's more, he's threatening to kill the Ranger if I don't hold your Orion and wait for him to catch up with us. Great Ganymede. You know, Captain, we're right on the nose now. If I hold up the Orion for just one minute, one minute, we're not going to get that mail to where it's on schedule. And that means the failure, the complete failure of the interplanetary mail service. Chauncey Everett here. Chauncey Everett here. Do you read me, Captain Video? Yes, I read you, Everett. How did you manage to get free? Let's not play games, questions, and answers, Captain. All I want from you is the answer to one question. Now, do I kill the ranger or don't I? Now, look, don't be a space fool. What do you expect to gain? If you delay the Orion by as much as one minute, you won't be able to get the mail through on schedule either. You can let me worry about that, Captain. That's my problem. Now, your problem is to decide whether the Orion stops or not. Now, what do you say, Captain? Gracious, dear, gracious, Captain. This is a very difficult situation to be in. Difficult? It's an impossible situation. an impossible situation going on at the circus right now, too. Let's run over and watch our friends Maisie and Jake as they clear it up. My name is Maisie the Raven, and my name is Jake the Flake. Oh, what a sweet combination we make, known to the world as both Raisin and Flakes. We've got a story to tell you, it happened not too long ago. next time she shops to get post raisin bran and now rangers back aboard the galaxy difficult but this is an impossible situation i want an answer captain and at once give me one minute ever just one minute my dear captain why should you need time to decide there is but one answer you must order the orion to stop you cannot let them murder the ranger Flood. Apparently mail doesn't mean very much to you. It never does to people who have it. But out here in the black vaults of space, there are millions and millions of people on these planets who hunger for a word from home. Just a letter of some kind from their loved ones who they may have left back on planet Earth. And over and above that, empires have actually fallen because a letter didn't arrive on time. And that's why the Ranger and I have fought, fought in battle to try and prove that an interplanetary mail service is practical and can be used. Now you see, Flood, it's not an easy decision to make. Your minute of grace is up, Captain. What is your answer? One answer, Everett. Hello, Orion. Hello, Orion. Yes, Captain. Street, I want you to obey Chauncey Everett's orders. Stop the Orion. Wait for him. Very well, Captain. 
It means the end of the interplanetary mail service, but I guess there just ain't nothing else we can do. Well, there may be, but sacrificing the ranger's life isn't one of them. Hello, Everett. Hello, Everett. Yes, Captain. Look, Everett, I'd just like to warn you. If you do not keep your word, if you should happen to harm the ranger, and believe me, I'll never rest until I've made you pay for it a thousand times over. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Captain. I assure you, the ranger is as safe as... Well, from here on in, he's as safe as you are. Well, he'd better be. Over and out. <laughs> yes, Ranger. You're as safe as Captain Video. The only thing is that Captain Video himself isn't safe. And you was lying when you told Video you wouldn't kill the Ranger. Yes, you might say that, Mr. Storm, although I dislike the use of the word lie. I prefer half truth. Well, whatever you're going to do, you better do it fast. I'll bet you right now Video is working double time on the galaxy to get it back in shape. And when he does, he'll be lighting out after us. How right you are, Horace. It is part of my plan to stay right here and let him catch, catch up with us. You what? Are you going nuts or something? What do you want to catch up with us for? Because then it will be easier for me to catch him. Hi there, Rangers. Roger's here. Well, because of cosmic interference, Rangers, I haven't been able to get through to the galaxy. But, uh, you know, she was supposed to land here a long time ago. And, well, Rangers, I don't have to tell you, we're, we're quite concerned about her. So, Rangers, while we're waiting for her to come in, why do you say we check on our Texas agents, Wakely and White, and see what kind of an alibi Jane Morgan has for them? Rangers, stand by for Texas. Mark this record, file number MRV-310. Come in, please. Sharp focus. That's right, but he didn't say anything about being robbed. It's $75,000. Part of this money was going to help the very man who accused me of killing. Let her out here. We're just going to Bradford. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll give her stuff about plenty of water. I'm inclined to believe you. But the best thing for you to do is to come along with us. Jane, if the alibi holds up, I'll do everything I can to get you off of the last sentence for robbery. What I did to Bradford wasn't robbery. This money rightfully belongs to me.
looks as though agent or banker Bradford has an ace up his sleeve that our agents didn't count on. Because if he starts paying off his depositors, that means... Well, Rangers, I guess that means that the agents Wakely and White are right back where they started from. So, Rangers, you try to be with us next time, and uh, we'll see how our agents get out of this tough situation. This is Rogers 161, signing off. Now, Rangers, aboard the Galaxy. You're having trouble with those electronic conductors, Flood? Haven't you finished them yet? Gracious, dear gracious, Captain. I'm working with all possible speed. Well, work a little faster, will you? Every moment counts you. If I may say so, Captain, I don't see the point of all this speed. What is to be gained by it? Your attempt to, to establish the regular mail service has failed? So, speed can't help us there. Now the Ranger is safe. Wait a minute, Flood, you don't actually believe that, do you? Well, perhaps it's because I want to believe it. I want to believe it too, but I can't. See, Everett's word isn't worth a pinch of space dust. No, I think the Ranger and all the rest will be safe enough as long as they suit Everett's purpose, but... I have a pretty definite feeling that just as soon as he gets aboard the Orion, as soon as he gets his hands on that cargo of micromail, then he'll try and get rid of the Ranger and all the others just as quickly as possible. Mercy sakes! Then we must work with every ounce of speed possible. That would be the general idea. Indeedy, indeedy, Captain. Uh, well, we must keep at it with a will. Meanwhile, as Captain Video and Fittis Flood work with furious concentration and speed to repair the galaxy, aboard the Orion, anchored in space. Believe me, Randolph, I never felt worse about anything in my whole life. I'm to blame for this. It's my fault. Me and me alone. Oh, nonsense, Creed. Nonsense. Is it? I don't think so. If I hadn't tried to stop you from establishing the mail service, you would have done it. There's no point in heaping coals on your own head, Creed. In any case, here they come. What's happened has happened. It's, it's just too late to change it now. The interplanetary mail service is a vision. A vision and nothing more. Oh, I wouldn't say that if I were you, Mr. Randolph. You apparently are overlooking one small fact of supreme importance. Am I? Yes. What are you getting at now, Screen? Are you trying to say you still think there's enough time to get the mail through on schedule? That is precisely what I am saying. There is plenty of time. Ample time to get the mail through on schedule. If you think that, Everett, you've got a bigger job ahead of you than you imagine. Oh, I don't think it's so big, Mr. Randolph Horace. I have an idea that the electronic manacles here aboard the Orion are working with maximum efficiency. So, would you be good enough to put uh, Mr. Storm and Mr. Randolph in them, please? All right, you two crumbs. Back in the bread box. Well, now, Screen, we get to the final act of our little drama. The next step in my plan in the execution of which I'm afraid I shall have to enlist your aid. If you think I'm going to help you with your dirty work, you're mistaken. I'm not going to do it. Oh, I think you will, Screed. Oh, no, I won't. You can kill me if you want to, but I won't help you. Oh, heavens no. Kill you? That would be simply idiotic. Why should I kill you? I plan to use you. Well, possibly there's another way. Ranger, it seems as if you will have to do the honors again. Isn't this getting a bit repetitious? Yes, as a matter of fact, I, I am afraid that it is. I dislike to bore you. In fact, I dislike boring anyone. And so, therefore, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to tell you that I think you will find the plan that I have in mind for capturing Captain Video most interesting. Oh, it should be fascinating. Yes, I think, as a matter of fact, you will find it so. Well, now, Steve, are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to do as I tell you? No. Oh, come now, Street, I think you will. Of course, there is a distinct possibility that you won't. But there is only one way to find out in Street, yes. Only one way. Well, video rangers, not a very pretty picture up there aboard the Orion. Now, but wait till you see the picture I'm painting for you right here. I gotta get the right color, though. A little red and a little yellow combine to get.
give us a very pretty orange. There. And as all you rangers know, a good combination is sometimes hard to get, but it's mighty pleasant. Whether it's a combination of colors or a combination of flavors. And right here, rangers, is one of the best tasting combinations you ever tried. It's post raisin bran, the fruit and cereal treat. You know what's in that package? Well, first, they take the tenderest, juiciest raisins that you ever imagined. Now, you know how sweet a nice, plump raisin is. Tastes like candy. Well, sir, they mix just the right amount of those juicy, sweet raisins with just the right amount of crisp, golden flakes. And there you have this perfect combination. Post raisin bran. The flakes add flavor to the raisins, and the raisins add flavor to the flakes. Just try a bowl full with milk and sugar. It not only tastes delicious, it's full of iron and food energy for you. Just make sure you get Post, America's favorite raisin bran. It's one of the famous triple-wrapped Post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. And now, Rangers, aboard the Galaxy. All right, Flood, throw that master switch, will you? Oh, indeedy, indeedy. To judge by the sound of those rockets, the galaxy is now in shape again. Yes, at least she's good enough to take us to do the job we have to do. Look, Flood, tell me, do you know anything about flying a spaceship? Oh, I'll make an adequate co-pilot. Quite adequate, I think. Good. Well, the first thing we have to do is to find the polar star in the Orion. After that, this is Sam Screed aboard the Orion calling Captain Video aboard the galaxy. Come in, please. Come in, please. This is Captain Video. What is it, Screed? Well, Captain Video, I just want you to know that that I have some news for you. Good news. Well, what is it, Screed? Well, I know it's going to sound fantastic to you, but Randolph and I have, have just captured Everett and Horace. Oh, joy! Oh, Thanksgiving! Oh, happy day! Screed, how in the universe did you do it? Well, it was quite simple. We just took them by surprise when they came aboard the Orion. And I think maybe you'd better come over. I'll explain the whole thing to you. You'd better come over. We'll have a council of war. Yes, you're right about that. Look, Spree, is the ranger all right? Yes, he's, he's all right. He's busy right now watching our prisoners, Rod, and have him talk to you. Well, we'll be aboard the Orion as soon as we can reach you. Over and out. Thank you, Spree. Thank you very much. Don't mention that, Everett. Don't mention it. So to use your own words, Jeffrey, Spree has dealt you a few unexpected aces. And have used them to your best advantage. You think? I am very sure of it, Captain. This is the end for all of you, and the beginning for me. It's a wild idea that he can get the interplanetary mail to Earth on schedule. Oh? What is it? Planetary time? Uh, how did you know about that? Well, I don't see what else it could be. You see, planetary time is some seven hours ahead of Earth time. So you thought you had about seven hours to spare, did you, Everett? Well, you're wrong. Because we've been operating this schedule on Earth time. Uh -huh. I'm not keeping up in that video, not by a long shot. I'll find some way to convince the Solar Alliance that even though this mail arrived late, it's still practicable and workable to set up and maintain an interplanetary mail service. Well, first of all, you'd better find out some way to explain to the Solar Alliance how you happen to come in possession of the mail. No, oh, I don't think I'll have to put to do with that, Captain. After all, I am an admirable liar, you know. <laughs> of course, if there were going to be any witnesses around, I might be worried. But since there aren't, no. So? So you plan to get rid of all of us. Is that it? You anticipate me, Captain. How right you are. How very right you are. Well, Rangers, you know about as much as I do as to what's going to happen next. One thing sure, Captain Video and the Ranger and all our friends are in a bad spot. There are thrills ahead, Rangers, so be sure to watch us next time. And remember, to take excitement and action, Video Rangers need a swell-tasting breakfast. If Captain Video were here now, he'd say... 
Now, Rangers, a word for your parents. Every American child has the right to an education. American children are very fortunate in this respect because this condition is far from worldwide. In some countries, there is no public school system. In other countries, the school system is ineffectual. So you can be proud and thankful that learning is considered a basic right in the United States. But having such a complete and well set up educational system is a responsibility too. They're your schools and only as good as you make them. Yes, it's up to you, the citizens of the United States, to make sure that your schools are strong, that they are spreading truth and real education, that they are combating bigotry and prejudice. You, as citizens, can help to ensure a sound, healthy school system. Captain Video was played by Al Hodge, the Video Ranger by Don Hastings, Everett by Scott Tennyson, Sam Screed by Jack Davis, Tyson Randolph by Gordon Mills, Horace by Arnie Freeman, Venice Flood by Leroy O'Perty, and Salathiel Storm by Jack Weston. Captain Video was written by George Lothar. Your announcer is Fred Scott. This is the Dilmont Television Network.